All right, guys, this is Kevin. So we're gonna use Wing Chun principle to talk about engagement with the hands, okay? There's one of the drill that, that's uh, well known in Wing Chun, it's called the Ji Chun Choi. Some people call it a Lin Wan Choi, some people call it a Battle Punch, right? In our lineage on the Sea for Francis, we use Battle Punch as a, as a terminology. The thing with this is you wanna make sure my hand stays on the center. Every time when I punch, it actually goes through the line like this, right? You want to avoid using your shoulder like this. It's not so much a jab cross like that using your shoulder. The key on this is a mid range striking only using your elbow. So giving a side view, I want you guys kind of pay attention to my elbow. My elbow doesn't come back and forth. It actually stays like that. See? So when I strike, my shoulder doesn't go back like this. Nor it goes forward like that. You can extend your hand all the way, um, but when you do that, you have a high chance to snap your elbows. So for Sifu Francis, we only go about halfway like that for practicing, right? But for the drill, for striking, you can go all the way extension. So again, sideway view, it goes like that. In slow motion, right? Fast motion, shh, shh, shh. Now, in training, we like to go sets of three, sets of six, and sets of nine, and then 30 seconds, nonstop. So as a, as a great example, when I go one, I, do, I usually do about 10 sets each. So that'll be 10 sets of three punch. So when I say set one, that's one, two, three, four, five. Then you do 10. Then the next one, you do sets of six. One, ready? So that's six. Then you do sets of nine. And then you do 30 seconds nonstop. And then, and it's, of course, this exercise will burn you out just using your traps and your arms. You have to stay relaxed. Most people want to punch this with a heavy fist. In Wing Chun, the thing, what, the, you, the thing you want to think about is the lighter you are with the hands, the faster you will be. You want to always retract the hand back to close your elbow like that, okay? Don't go all the way back. Definitely don't drop your hand like this. The hand retracts on the same line that it punches. See, like that. Now, hand relaxed. So that way when you practice, you can only emphasize on the form, but not so much on the muscular, right? Avoid using that because you don't want to in, uh, damage or injure yourself. So take your time and then be safe when you do the drill.